All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today we have a new prototype watch from RZE Watches. If you guys watch my channel, you know I've had a few of their watches here on the channel. This is the Resolute 2022. Um, really cool watch. They've really kind of upped their game with this one and made a few improvements um, on this, uh, the Resolute model, which I really like. I'm just showing you guys here what the watch, I think it's going to come with all of this, but you do get a canvas strap. This is a leather line canvas strap, which has really good triple stitching on it. Just show you guys that real quick. It's focusing on the watch in the background, but nice heavy duty stitching being used, leather lined, stainless gusseting being used on there. But the watch itself is a titanium watch. And of course, it's going to come on a matching titanium bracelet. Uh, pretty incredible whenever you pick up a titanium watch. Um, they're so stinking light and this one is absolutely no different. So uh, high grade titanium and this one has an ultra hex coating on it, which really takes down the scratches on this watch. Um, as a matter of fact, this is a prototype watch. It's been on tour, um, just came to me from Jonathan T Review. So I'll leave a link to his video down below in the description, but um, definitely a cool watch, um, nice looking piece, but that ultra hex as you guys can see, it really doesn't even have a scratch on it, even after being around the horn to other channels and whatnot. It's in really, really nice shape. So let's talk sizing on the watch. You've got a 39, I'm measuring just under 40, like 39.7 millimeter side to side, not including this bit of crown guard here um, or the crown itself. A 46 lug tip to lug tip comes in under 11 millimeters of thickness uh, to the top of the flat sapphire crystal and you have 20 millimeter lug openings. Um, definitely what I would consider a field watch. You have a screw down crown on this one, 100 meters water resistant, so it's gonna get the job done for you. And really impressive C3 Super Luminova on this one. Now this one is the, um, what they're calling the Arctic gray dial. So we'll bring it up here a little bit closer. You guys can take a look at that. Super high definition dial on this watch, as you guys can see, AR coating is keeping any reflections down on that um, sapphire crystal as we look at it. You can see the indices are all, all applied there. You can get that depth to them. And those Arabics at the three, six and the nine position look awesome. Perfect for a field watch. I mean, we all know that. So the um, female in links on this, pierced lugs being used. So it's gonna be easy for strap changes. And because you have those female in links, it keeps that short lug to lug length there. The bracelet itself is a, uh, I can't tell if there's a screw link. Looks like it's going to be a screw link bracelet on here. Nice clasp assembly. Let's back this back out a little bit. Nice clasp assembly, as you guys can see here. The case back gives you all of your pertinent information. The RZE, the Japanese. Oh, yeah, this is run a Miyota. Um, I think it's the was it 90S5 or something like that. It's a high beat movement, hackable, hand winding. It is a true no date movement. So when you unscrew the crown here, you're not going to have that ghost date position. So you've got, you unscrew it there. You can wind it and hack it by pulling it out. And as you guys can see, it's a one stop position. It's gonna stop that for um, getting the time set just right. So very nice looking timepiece. They come in this um, zipper. Let's get the screw back down here. The zipper uh, carrying case, as you guys can see here in the background, and it's pretty nice, has a, has a tool for doing your bracelet adjustments. Zipper closed like this, and of course that all comes in a box. Cleaning cloth, and then there's a little sticker there. But this watch is actually perfectly sized for my seven inch wrist, so let's go ahead and throw this one on my wrist and uh, stick around for the loom, because the loom on this one is super, super impressive. All right, so the case fits my wrist super well. Super lightweight, these titanium bracelets. And the nice thing about titanium is it really warms up to your skin nicely and it feels really, really nice. But the ultra hex coating is gonna keep this watch looking brand new for years, probably even decades. You're not gonna have to worry about scratching up that titanium. Really, really nice looking. There's a number of different colorways available, so I'll leave the link to the RZE website. The retail on this price on this watch when it releases is going to be $399 US, which I think is a really good deal getting a titanium watch, a field watch like this for under $400 with a high beat Miyota movement in it. Uh, really good deal there. So let's dim the lights and check out the loom. All right, so I know it's not totally dark in here. I've got a window in the back of the room that lets, lets a little bit of light in, but usually on these watches, um, they put a lot of loom, especially uh, RZ from what I remember their last prototype they sent me. So no different here. Lots of nice blue C3 Super Luminova. There's a BGW9 variant, but man, look at how nicely that's applied. Doesn't that look good? Love that blue against that gray dial, but impressive, impressive loom, definitely a loom beast. And I'm so glad that they were smart enough on a prototype to make sure to send it out with the right amount of loom on it. So looking good. All right, guys, you liked the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do, please do. Thanks guys.